Howdy doody folks. We're looking at how to apply Google Analytics 4 to your website. If you have Universal Analytics, you're going to have to make the switch because UA will stop working on July 1st, 2023. We have another video going into the differences between UA and GA4, but this video is going to be about making that switch because you have to make that switch. So make sure that you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you know when that other video goes live. Now, if you haven't applied analytics at all, keep watching. But if you're just looking to make the switch from UA to GA4, you can skip ahead with the timestamps. All right, let's go. First, we start by signing up on Google Analytics from our Google account. The process from registering to getting the code for the data stream is fairly simple and rather straightforward. I'll start by entering my account name, which is likely my website. We'll check all the boxes as needed and click Next. See those properties? This is where the organization or website name goes. We add the relevant name, the reporting time zone, and the preferred currency. We can simultaneously create the property for Universal Analytics as well, but who wants that? As we click Next, Google starts asking intrusive questions about our business. We add the category, or at least the closest match, and fill in the information. Then we again check the boxes based on what we need analytics for. Then comes the part we all check without reading, Terms of Services. As we accept, we reach the platform page. We click Website because that's what we want analytics for and add our domain. We'll name it the same as our organization just to keep it all coherent. We can also click that cog and look at what Google means by enhanced measurement. Simply check all the boxes we need and proceed. Upon clicking Create Stream, the page will load to show our Google tag. Now we just need to install it to collect relevant data. At this point, there are two ways to install the tag. Google gives a whole tutorial on the same page for websites built on WordPress, so we really don't need to get into depth for that. But for those looking to install the Google tag manually, we simply copy the generated script and paste it after the head section. And this has to be done for every single page. And we're done. We've installed GA4 on our website, and we can now see how people are interacting with it. Congratulations. Okie dokie for all those who already have UA installed on their website and need to make the switch over to GA4. It's going to be a little bit trickier than just starting off fresh. And this might go without saying, but I'll say it anyway. You will need admin rights to switch analytics. First things first, how can we tell if we have UA or GA4? It's very simple. Sign into Analytics, and if there are three columns, we're working with UA. And if there are only two, we already have GA4 installed, and we're done. Now for those with UA, those three columns are Account, Property, and View. And to set up GA4, we select the first option under Property, since the whole goal is to set up the GA4 property on our website. Let's click that GA4 Setup Assistant. That takes us to the page where we can either create a new GA4 property or connect an existing GA4 property. For our objective, we'll go with the first option. Upon clicking that option, a dialog box opens up which lets us know exactly what we're about to get. Of course, since we don't already have a GA4 tag on our website, we'll have to install it. In a few cases, we might get the option to migrate tag customizations, but it's still best to set up preferences best suited to us. So we can do that at our own time. After clicking Create Property, we move on to the Setup Assistant page, and here we select Tag Installation. We see that our data stream for our website is already present here, so we click that. What we're looking for is our measurement ID. So we copy that. Now let's head over to our Google Tag Manager. Here, all our created tags will be present, but what we need is to create a new tag. We click New. As we click Configure, we'll see the option to add GA4. We paste our previously copied ID here and add a trigger. We want GA4 on all pages of our website, so we select All Pages. Click Save. If I want to check whether my GA4 property is now live or not, I can simply click Preview here, which will open a new tab of Google Tag Assistant. We copy our website URL here, and upon clicking Start, our website should open in another tab. This right here is the Debug Console. 
We go back to the Tag Assistant tab, and here we can see both our UA and GA4 tabs have fired up. If we click GA4 here, we'll see that it's functioning well with our measurement ID. We see everything is working fine, tags firing up correctly, so we're ready to publish these changes in our Google Tag Manager. We give it a name, voila! We just installed GA4 on our website. In case we're still suspicious of Google, we can double check by heading back to Analytics and into our created GA4 property. Once there, we click on Debug View to see the events happening on our website. If there are events there, then that means Google Analytics 4 has been successfully integrated and is working fine. All that needs to be done is to head back to the admin area and configure GA4 as we prefer to see our data. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment hello in the comments, and like me. Be my friend. Bye. Wow, that was loud. We are looking at... Flurp, flurp, flurp.